Now it would be really tedious if you had to repeatedly go to the window menu and open a series of panels for a particular task, say editing text. There is at least four different panels for editing text. Now instead what you can do is go over to the upper right hand side of the interface to what's called the workspace switcher menu. When you click on that, you'll be presented with what are called workspaces. These are collections of panels that are geared for a particular task. Now, if I choose, for example, painting, it will provide a collection of tools such as swatches to pick colors from to paint with and some brushes to work with as well. If I go back to that workspace switcher menu, I could choose photography. And here notice that the options are more aligned to editing photographic content. If I go back to essentials, this is the workspace that's active when you open it up for the first time and it is the default. So it includes a collection of what Adobe Photoshop believes is essential tools for day to day editing. Now we've modified this interface, but you can reset it. So if you go back to the workspace switcher menu, go down the list to reset whichever workspace is active will follow. So it's this case reset essentials and it puts it back to the last saved version of the workspace in there. So rather than going to the window menu and trying to open up a multitude of panels, instead you could always try going to the workspace switcher menu where you might find a group of panels that are more close to what you're looking for.